of the day, Valentine's Day. Tyler and Josh from Snowman Pilots, guys, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having us. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this show was announced like a year or so ago. And I remember thinking when the, uh, the show was announced, I was actually at home at the time, and I was just kind of hanging out my box for briefs, and I thought, that's kind of cool yeah. that uh, the guys are coming. If I get a chance to interview them, I think I should I should interview them the same way that I found out the news so few. Yeah, on. I was about to say, you better get going, dude. All right, so <laughs> I figure we're all friends here. Yeah, I mean, I hope you got something on. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This is great. So, there we go. This is nice. It really is. But my idea is, yeah, it's more comfortable, isn't it? I, I know what it really is. It's just free. It kind of it takes uh, it takes some of the like stress <laughs> away from the situation. It's just like yeah, it's, it's a lot better. Now, what had happened if, if maybe one of you guys forgot your deal and one of you guys decided to go commando? Oh, uh, then it probably just would have been a lot more comfortable, <laughs> more liberating. <laughs> Recreate like a scene from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Grab your two socks and go to town. Oh yeah, I know we forgot. We sometimes we sometimes it's sock day. <laughs> we think Sunday doesn't fall on sock day for us. So um, a lot of talk lately with award shows like the Grammys and Oscars and things in political um, music has always been um, a benchmark for changes in society and changes in politics. Uh, or fashion, as you guys handled with the uh, <laughs> the Grammy win. Yeah. Um, how do you guys feel about that? In all seriousness, should artists shut up and sing, or is music a venue to express those opinions? I think it can be both. Uh, it just depends on really what what you're trying to convey. Um, the cool thing about music is it is a it is a totally blank platform for you to really be able to say whatever you want, and um, people just choose to do it different. And some people, some people don't want to talk about it at all, and some do. And I think that, um, I think it's acceptable either way. And, and the cool thing about music too is that um, I, I could put on a, a song or a band, and you're going to relate to that way different than I am. And maybe uh, I love it, and you don't love it, or it, it resonates with you in a way that it doesn't resonate with me. And that's what's cool about it. So if you do want to share um, uh, political or uh, stylistic views through your songs then you can and chances are there's gonna be somebody that catches on to that or, or or accepts that or gravitates towards it and if not then somebody will I, I would say I do think that like um we've learned that audiences and fans and really just big groups of people are a lot smarter than some people give them credit for as far as being able to tell whether or not it's authentic, being able to tell whether or not it's something that you, you know, it's a cause that you actually, you know, wake up in the morning and, and worry about and live and die by. And so there's definitely those artists that can get up there and you can tell, you can smell it, that this is what they, this is why they're here and you, you can appreciate that. On the other side, you can, you can also tell when someone's just tapping into what's hot, you know, and, and what's going to get them the most traction in that moment. And um, so we're very aware of how smart audiences are. Um, and it started with just us playing to, to rooms of people. We realized, you know what, we're not going to trick these people. So let's just, let's be us. And so who we are, we, we know who we are. We know what we want to say. We know why we make music. And it's just never been politically charged for us because um, we're focusing on something so much more introspective. It's about, you know, us working through what we're working through um, as in, as an individual, and as much as we respect those people who are, you know, really wanting to change the world and have a, a, a social stance, um, for us it's just been exhausting enough just working on ourselves, you know. And hopefully that's what our music is encouraging as well, because that can also result in a lot of change. One of the questions that we got online quite a bit from quite a few of our friends, we posted it ahead of time asking our Facebook page, "What questions should we ask?" You guys, and I saw the answer on Wikipedia, but who knows if it's true or not. Where did the name Twenty One Pilots come from? Um, yeah, actually, I was studying a theater class in college, and there's a play called All My Sons by Arthur Miller. And in that play, the main character is he, he creates airplane parts for that current war, and he found out that those parts were faulty, so he had a really a moral decision to make: do I send those parts out and um, make my money? Or do I 
do I recall the parts, which is ultimately the right thing to do because they would result in um, disaster. He sent the parts out and 21 pilots died because of his decision. He ends up just offing himself at the end of the play. It's a very sad story. But I took that and we kind of applied that to not only ourselves as individuals, but as a band. There's always these, these decisions every time that we, we face them. I don't know how many times Josh and I have looked at each other like, you know, we could either send the parts out here, we could sign this deal, we could make this shortcut. Um, this would probably help us you know, get success, fame, money quicker. Um, or we could, we could do it the right way, our way. A way that might take a little more time, but uh, is ultimately more rewarding in the end. So the band name is kind of a constant reminder of that. Hey guys, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Happy thank Valentine's you. Day, and thank thanks for, uh, for allowing me to live a little freely. <laughs> you look good, man. <laughs> thanks.